Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I haven't done a video in about a week, so I figured I was overdue, I guess, or whatever. Plus, I, I want to see if I can get this video to fucking upload, because I've been having trouble with that. Um, so I was tagged by Punk Outlaw to do this um, portrait of an atheist thing. So that's what I'm going to do, and I, I dig Punk Outlaw's videos. And it's always good to be tagged by somebody you like to watch. So I'll put a link to his channel over there. You can check that out and subscribe if you so desire. So there's five topics here. And um, anybody who's really been watching my videos long enough, I'm sure you can pretty much guess where I stand on a lot of this. But I, uh, I like the sound of my own voice. So I see no reason to shut the fuck up and not talk. Um, first topic, abortion. Oh yeah, that popular topic of abortion. First of all, I don't really see why this is such a big issue for the non-religious in a lot of fucking ways. I really don't. Um, and what I mean is is that there's a lot of other issues that we could be tackling instead of just the, uh, the abortion situation, you know, like uh, uh, sexual responsibility if you don't want to have children, then... Um, you know, take the proper steps to not have children, then the abortion thing, it, it's not really even worth talking about anymore. Um, but if the question is legal or illegal, legal, fucking legal. Um, as a matter of fact, I think we ought to make abortion more fun. It's, it's such a gloomy thing. You know, even those who support abortion understand that it's not really something that anybody likes to go through, you know? So let's, uh, Fuck it, I don't know. Let's perk it up a bit. Let, let's give um, a woman on her first trip to uh, play in parenthood, let's give her like a little card. Like, you know, you can go to Subway and you eat 10 sandwiches and you get the 11th one free. Let's do that with abortions. Only on this card you could have like little fetuses, you know, and you, you punch a hole in it. <laughs> and after, you know, your 10th hole punch, you get the 11th abortion for free. I'm an asshole. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> sort of. But, yeah, legal as fuck. I, I don't care. Um, an, another thing about the abortion issue, I'm a man. I have a really, really hard time um, supporting the idea that a bunch of men should get together and pass laws about what women should be doing with their bodies. That's just, it irks me. I can't logically justify that, no matter how fucking hard I try. Um, so there you go, legal. Uh, fuck it, who cares? Um, capital punishment. Now, a lot of people tell me I'm weird about this capital punishment thing. I, I'm not so much opposed to capital punishment simply because someone's getting killed. Um, that that's never really been the thing for me. Like like I'm not one of these assholes that'll wear a shirt. And I actually saw a guy wearing a T-shirt that said, "Why do we kill people who kill people to show them that killing people is wrong?" See, it's not like a hypocrisy thing for me. My, my big problem is, is that the state is the one doing the killing. And, and that's where people kind of go, that, that's kind of a weird attitude to have. Not really, because when we think about capital punishment, what is it? Capital punishment serves only one function, and that is revenge. And a lot of people like to call it justice. One person dies, so this person dies. That's, that's justice. And I suppose I could understand that. But the bottom line is this isn't about justice. This is about revenge. This is about seeking vengeance. Um, but the way I see it, if someone, and you know, there's always a guy going, well, if somebody were to kill your child, you'd want them dead too. Yeah, 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 probably. Um, I'd, I'd probably find my own way to go about taking care of that. And, and, and that's what I wouldn't mind. Like if I find out that uh, person A his child was slaughtered by person B, so person B went out and fired three rounds into person A's chest, um, I, I really wouldn't feel like anyone should be coming down too hard uh, uh, on the uh, seeker of revenge, because that's all capital punishment really is. For the state to be responsible for seeking revenge uh, for, for an individual, it's kind of weird to me. It rubs me the wrong way, so uh, fuck capital punishment, but I'm a big fan of revenge. Um, Drug laws. This is the funniest shit of all. Uh, legal across the board. Legal, 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 legal. Across the fucking board. Um, it's funny to me 
the, the whole war on drugs thing, we know that's a fucking joke. Bill Hicks said it best. Um, it's not really a war because wars end. There is no war on drugs because you can't end that war. It's not a winnable fucking war. People want to get high. People are always going to experiment with fucking drugs. And, and the ultimate hypocrisy is, is that the legal narcotics, you know, the legal fucking drugs that I'm allowed to buy because the state says it's a good idea are the ones killing fucking thousands of goddamn people. And so, so it, it can't be a moral objection to drug use. It just can't be. That doesn't make any fucking sense. You know, and simply because the shit's illegal doesn't mean that people can't get their fucking hands on it. So I know that the government doesn't really have a moral objection um, to marijuana, for example, or even fucking crack. It has nothing to do with that, um, because on the side of my death stick here, um, I got a warning from our friendly Surgeon General. So I know something's fucking rotten in Denmark in, in that department. So yeah, drug laws, fuck them, useless, doesn't matter, get rid of them. Gay rights. The gay rights issue is, um, it, it doesn't really hit home for me because I'm not gay. If I were gay, I'd probably be a little bit more passionate about it, but since I don't have to deal with it, I'm not all that passionate about it. What I, what I think of it, though, is, is are we really still this primitive? We're actually concerned what consenting adults do? We're actually this primitive. People still give a fuck. People are still arguing this. People are, are gay rights. Those two words don't even fucking belong together. I mean, that's no, I'm sorry, but it's no different than uh, women's rights, black rights, white rights. I mean, what the fuck is this? Like, where do these rights start and stop? <laughs> I mean, it's fucking stupid. People are, for some reason, intimidated and afraid of homosexuals, so they shouldn't be allowed to be, you know, they shouldn't be doing the same things we are because they're different. Ooh, and I'm afraid of that, so they shouldn't be allowed to get married, or this, or this, or that. And uh, the arguments these people make up to support their bigotry are always fun to listen to, because they always fucking fall apart, and they never make any sense. Um, it, it's just a silly fucking thing that, that people still have a problem with this, and it just shows you how goddamn primitive our fucking society is, to be honest. Be right with you, hold on. Okay, and the last topic on the little list here is economics. Um, I'm going to be brief about this because I hate getting on this topic for obvious reasons for anyone who's watched my older videos. I'm one of those kooky, crazy, fucking anarcho-capitalist guys, ooh, those free market goofballs, you know, that can't really seem to be proven wrong or incorrect. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't really want to get into that, but yeah, I'm fan of the free market. That's just the way it's been for me for years. I haven't found a good enough reason to change my fucking mind. Um, government, really, and economics. It, it, it really, I'm looking at this list. Abortion, capital punishment, or revenge, we'll call it capital punishment, revenge, drugs, gay rights, and um, economics. All things the government should have no nothing to fucking do with. Come to think of it, I can't think of a reason they should have anything to do with any anything at all. Hmm. I'm fucking kooky. I can't help myself. So there you go. Um, I'll tag some people over in the sidebar because I haven't, or is it this way? Because I haven't really decided who I'm tagging yet. But you guys take it easy.